in a technical sense, is the only proper way to make a cup of tea. This six-page specification is published by the British Standards Institution. The formal name is Standard Number BS6008, Method for Preparation of a Liquor of Tea for Use in Sensory Tests. In this usage, the word liquor has no attachments to alcohol or spirits. Rather, it means a solution prepared by extraction of soluble substances. What does it mean to make a cup of tea? In principle, it means to take extraction of soluble substances in dried tea leaf contained in a porcelain or earthenware pot by means of freshly boiling water, pouring of the liquor into a white porcelain or earthenware bowl. The pot must have its edge partly serrated and provided with a lid, the skirt of which fits loosely inside the pot. Yes, it is a resume. Yes, it belongs to Edward A. Murphy, Jr. And yes, he is the Murphy of Murphy's Law. BS6008 is flexible. It includes provisions for making tea with milk or without. One must fill the pot to within four to six millimeters of the brim with freshly boiling water and then follow the rest of the procedure. The British Standards Institution publishes more than 15,000 standards covering many aspects of commercial and daily life. Numerically, the T standard, BS6008, comes right after BS6007, rubber insulated cables for electric power and lighting, and just before BS6009, hypodermic needles for single use, color coding for identification. Uh, they are called pseudocopians because they have on the front also those two scissors with which they catch book lines as well as mites and then put in their uh, geliceri and uh, suck, uh, out, suck them out actually so that they are left behind as a dry skin. <laughs> a dry skin, by the way, that of course stay in your carpet as long as you have, uh, stay in your bed as long as you keep the mattress. So we have found mattresses with half a million dead bodies. <laughs> Our final question. Because I walked here and I got quite hot and sweaty, I'm down here. Oh, there, yes, yes, that helps. <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, please uh, start again. Yeah, I was just wondering if the mites in this seat uh, can get through my underpants and if they want to. Attracted by the sweat. You said they go for the sweat and the heat. And they especially go for the sweat, but sweat is always traveling to the place with the lowest temperature. And when you're sitting there on your seat, the lowest temperature is probably to the far sides of your cushions. Oh. So that's where they go. So but but I them. cannot reassure you completely because we know. <laughs>